Welcome to Mythomaniac Legends Alive. Do you believe in curses? Did you hear about the Hope Diamond? Today we'll deep into the mystery of the Hope Diamond and all the legends surrounding this object. The Hope Diamond. A name whispered in hushed tones. A gem that shimmers with an almost unearthly blue. But behind its beauty, a darkness lurks. A legend of a curse. They say it brings misfortune, tragedy, even death. Is it true? Is the Hope Diamond truly cursed? Or is it just a story, a way to explain the unpredictable nature of life? Let's journey into the history of this enigmatic gem. We'll explore its origins, its owners, and the tragedies that have followed it through the centuries. Our journey takes us back in time. We find ourselves in the mines of India, where the Hope Diamond began its life as a rough, uncut stone. From there, it traveled across continents, changing hands and transforming along the way. Each transformation brought it closer to the dazzling gem we know today. But with each change, the shadow of the curse seemed to grow stronger. Deep within the earth, in the mines of Golconda, India, a remarkable blue diamond was discovered. It was massive, weighing in at an incredible 112 carats. The diamond's vibrant blue color was unlike anything seen before. It was said to glow with an internal fire, captivating all who laid eyes upon it. This extraordinary gem quickly found its way into the hands of royalty. It became part of the collection of the Mughal emperors, renowned for their opulent treasures. Legend has it that the diamond was once part of a Hindu idol's eye. When it was pried away, a terrible curse was unleashed upon the world. The diamond continued to change hands, passing from emperors to sultans, each owner seemingly touched by misfortune. Could it be the curse at work? Or were these simply the hazards of power in a turbulent time? The line between coincidence and curse is a thin one. In the 17th century, the diamond began a new chapter in its story. Jean-Baptiste Tavernier, a French gem merchant, acquired the stone in India. It had been recut into a stunning 67 carat heart shape. This is the form we recognize today as the Hope Diamond. Tavernier brought the diamond, now known as the Tavernier Blue, back to Europe. He sold it to King Louis XIV of France. The king had the diamond set into an elaborate piece of jewelry, a symbol of his power and wealth. But even the Sun King couldn't escape the diamond's shadow. Louis XIV's reign was marked by conflict and financial strain. He died of gangrene, a gruesome end for a powerful ruler. Was this the curse of the diamond manifesting, or simply the course of history? The questions linger as we follow the diamond's path. The French Revolution brought chaos to France. The monarchy was overthrown and its treasures were plundered. The French blue disappeared during this tumultuous period. For a time, its whereabouts were unknown. But the diamond, like a ghost, re-emerged. It resurfaced in London in the early 19th century. By now, it had been recut again, slightly reducing its size. It was acquired by a London banking family named Hope. It was they who gave the diamond the name it bears today. The Hope family, despite their wealth and status, experienced their share of misfortune. Bankruptcy, family feuds, and untimely deaths seemed to plague them. The curse, it appeared, had followed the diamond to England. The Hope diamond has passed through many hands, each with its own tale of misfortune. One of its early owners, King Louis XIV of France, met a tragic end when he and his family were executed during the French Revolution. Another owner, Evelyn Walsh MacLean, faced a series of personal tragedies, including the death of her son in a car accident and her daughter's suicide. These stories add to the legend of the diamond's curse, making it one of the most infamous gems in history. But beyond these well-known tales, there are other, lesser-known stories woven into the diamond's dark tapestry. One such story involves a Turkish sultan who acquired the diamond in the early 20th century. 
His reign was marked by political turmoil and personal strife, culminating in his deposition and exile. The Sultan believed the diamond had brought ruin to his life, and he was not alone in his belief. Another story tells of a wealthy Greek merchant who purchased the diamond in the hopes of securing his family's future. Instead, his ships were lost at sea, his fortune dwindled, and his family fell into disarray. The merchant, once a man of great influence, died penniless and heartbroken. These stories, filled with sorrow and tragedy, add layers to the legend of the Hope Diamond. They serve as a stark reminder of the potential perils that accompany great beauty and immense wealth. As the diamond continued its journey, it left a trail of despair in its wake, further cementing its reputation as a cursed gem. The Hope Diamond's dark legacy is a testament to the enduring power of myth and the human fascination with the unknown and the things that had no explanation. Each tale, each tragedy, adds to its mystique, making it not just a jewel, but a symbol of the enigmatic and the eerie. The Hope Diamond continued its journey, changing hands several times throughout the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Each owner brought their own story to the legend of the curse. Some met with financial ruin, others with tragic accidents or illnesses. Perhaps the most famous owner of the Hope Diamond was Evelyn Walsh McLean, an American socialite. Evelyn was drawn to the diamond's beauty, but she was also aware of its reputation. She even joked about the curse, claiming that it brought her good luck. Despite her bravado, tragedy struck Evelyn's life. Her young son died in a car accident, her daughter from a drug overdose, and her husband died in an asylum. These events seem to solidify the legend of the curse in the public imagination. The Hope Diamond, it seemed, was a harbinger of doom. The stories surrounding the Hope Diamond are undeniably compelling. But are they evidence of a curse or simply examples of the tragedies that befall humanity throughout history? When we look closer, we find that many of the misfortunes attributed to the diamond can be explained by other factors. For example, King Louis XIV's death from gangrene was a common ailment in his time, not a supernatural punishment. Similarly, the Hope family's financial troubles coincided with a period of economic instability in England. And Evelyn Walsh McLean's tragedies, while heartbreaking, were not entirely uncommon occurrences. It's important to remember that correlation does not equal causation. Just because tragic events occurred after someone owned the Hope Diamond does not mean the diamond caused those events. To truly understand the curse, we must look beyond the sensationalized stories and consider the historical context. The Hope Diamond is not the only gem said to carry a curse. Throughout history, many precious stones have been associated with misfortune and tragedy. The Black Orlov Diamond, for example, is said to have caused the deaths of three Russian princesses. The Kohinoor Diamond, now part of the British Crown Jewels, is believed to bring bad luck to any man who wears it. These stories, like the legend of the Hope Diamond, often involve powerful rulers, sudden deaths, and dramatic reversals of fortune. They tap into our fascination with the unknown, the possibility that objects can hold power over our lives. But are these stories simply cautionary tales? Warnings about the dangers of greed and ambition? Or do they hint at a deeper truth, a connection between the material and the mystical? Today, the Hope Diamond is no longer in private hands. It resides in the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History in Washington, D.C. Millions of visitors come each year to marvel at its beauty and learn about its fascinating history. The curse of the Hope Diamond, if it ever existed, seems to have faded. The Smithsonian has not reported any unusual misfortunes since acquiring the diamond in 1958. The museum itself has flourished, becoming one of the most popular in the world. Perhaps the Hope Diamond, freed from the burden of private ownership, is finally at peace. 
Or maybe the curse was never real to begin with, simply a product of human imagination and the passage of time. The Hope Diamond, shrouded in mystery, has long been rumored to carry a curse. The Hope Diamond, with its deep blue hue, has a history as rich and dark as its color. Originally discovered in India, it was brought to France by the gem merchant Jean-Baptiste Tavernier and sold to King Louis XIV. It adorned the neck of Marie Antoinette, who met a tragic end during the French Revolution. But what if the true curse lies not in the gem itself, but in the stories we tell? Later, it was owned by Evelyn Walsh McLean, who believed the diamond brought her misfortune, including the loss of her son and husband. As we delve deeper, we uncover tales of intrigue, deception, and the human desire to find meaning in the unknown. Could it be that the real power of the Hope Diamond is the way it captivates our imagination? Maybe it's not just random chance. Whatever the reason, the story of the Hope Diamond continues to fascinate and intrigue us. It's a reminder that sometimes, the line between fact and fiction can be blurry, and that the power of belief can be stronger than any curse. The Hope Diamond is just one of many historical objects shrouded in mystery and legend. From ancient artifacts to royal jewels, the world is full of stories waiting to be uncovered. If you enjoyed exploring the curse of the Hope Diamond, I encourage you to delve deeper into the mysteries of the past. We can do it together. Let me know in the comments if you like to see other cursed objects. Also, let me know if you believe in curses or ever experienced one. I would love to hear your stories. Thank you for joining me on this journey through time. Until next time, keep the legends alive.